सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ the scheme of the uh, type 3 that is going to be starting with surya is going to be like this we are kind of familiar right now did you see that the truman show movie yes uh yani are you uh, acquainted with that movie yes i know okay and the man who knew infinity have you seen this film also no, it's a good. Yes. Thing. It's a, it's a beautiful movie. The guy itself, I researched. He is not one of these nakshatras. But I'm not saying about the guy. Okay, I'm saying about the movie. Okay, the movie has that uh, style that we're going to discuss today. So the nakshatras that are going to be today is uh, Kritika, and we have Cameron Diaz and John Paul Paul Second. Uh, as representing them. The other one is going to be Uttara Pauguni, that is going Serena Williams and Mel Gibson. And uh, for Uttara Ashara is going to be Indira Gandhi and Charles Darwin. I'm not so sure if everyone knows about Indira Gandhi, but she was uh, the first woman to be prime minister in India. And she was the third prime minister of India. She is a kind of very important person in uh, Indian recent uh, history. Okay. But uh, once again, if you click there, you're going to be able to go to those lists and so. Now. Okay. Um, our guy here was Sean Connery in our second free class and one thing that is quite interesting about his story is that he retires in the in 2006 and he dies in 2020 okay and we discussed that he has refused to be dumbledore or he has refused to be gandalf and so and in this perspective it's not necessarily bad that the person is not being famous in the seventh karmic period because this can be um, blocking, this can be damaging the process of dying of that person. Okay? In the seventh karmic period, it's good that we are not strongly bonded to material world. Okay? We are going to see today that in this third type, type three, um, it's very favorable that the person becomes a writer or something. In the case of Sean Connery, he was uh, doing the voice of some um, movies, but not actually playing the movies there. Okay. What is going to happen in each one of that those karmic periods is also related to the uh, force or the strength of that Rahu in his natal chart. But this requires that we know how to read. Oh, his Jupiter is like this or like that. His Rahu is like this or like that. His Shan is like this or like that. And this is the big <laughs> study of Jyotche. It's not a, a, a simple thing. It's quite a complex thing. But we here also have the times and the different periods and so, okay? Now we are going to start today's class. Namaste. <laughs> we are on, okay? So, see. Surya will have at most six years start. It can be much less than this, okay? But pay attention. 
After Surya, there is going to be 10 years. Okay? Surya is one of those that it's quite short. After Kuja, Mars, there is going to be 18 years. After Ketu, there is going to be 20 years. The three of them that are with less time. Of the three, Kuja has following 18, Ketu has following 20. And this is quite different from Surya that has following 10. Okay? So, Surya is one of those combinations. There is going to be three small time frames in a row. Maximum six, 16 plus 10, 23. So the person will reach the fourth karmic period, maximum 23. It's quite young, okay? As a general thumb rule, we can say that each karmic period is around 10, 12 years. In a social comparison, okay? So from a social perspective, it's kind of natural that the person is starting its third karmic period around 30. And here maximum is going to be 23. It can be 16 years and one second. Okay? So this creates a challenge for the fourth karmic period in this scheme. Okay? In the last session, we spoke about when the person is born in the fourth pada of Shukra. So it's maximum five years. And then we go plus six, plus 10, plus seven. And the Rahu period would be the fifth. Now the Rahu period, there is going to be this sequence of six, 10, seven. It's going to be reaching the fourth and the person will have the Jupiter, Brihaspati as its fifth. So this is the first glance. The fourth karmic period is going to come soon. By definition, even if the person is born in the first pada, in the first foot, that is the one that is still within Aries, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That is going to be the first pada. Okay, the moon is in the end of those fiery rashes. Okay? So in this first karmic age, having Surya as director, soul connections are, are prone to be there. And the person you usually will not become aware of that. Okay? Those soul connections are going to be very uh, important in one's life. And usually people will realize that in its fifth karmic period. <laughs> when the person is around 50 or 60. Okay? The importance of that person, that place, that event and so Okay, so when we use the expression in our Western world, oh, I have a soul connection with this person, that soul connection is from the level of Surya, from the level of there is a, a higher frequency of a karmic pattern that tunes. Okay. For example, when I was 16, I started uh, having a relationship with a girlfriend, 17 actually. And our relationship went through like seven years or so. And it was the Surya period. <laughs> After it started the Chandra period, it was very difficult to stay in that relationship. Okay. This is not very uncommon that when the person goes through the Surya period, some people come to their lives and probably they will not stay after the Surya period finished. This is not bad. This is just the way it is. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> okay. Surya connections are not prone to be bounded by material things. And when that time is over, those connections just vanish. 
right? One point that is important is that uh, the first karmic period is the Tanu Mahadasha to develop uh, the body, the speech, the movement, all the karma indriyas. So it's quite common that people that are born during this type 3 will have any kind of issue with their body. It can be, don't know uh, exactly how to speak in the sense that it has some problems in learning in school and so, okay? The person can be after 1.5 years in the second Mahadasha and the time to develop the body was too short. Okay, so as a footnote, if the person is born in the Surya Mahadasha and it's like your uh, nephew or son or so, please consider that during the Chandra period that person will need some extra help to develop the body or the social abilities. Okay? Surya is not uh, in in the West. We believe that Sun is kind of a, a great or a nice guy, but in Vedic culture, Surya is here to cleanse. Surya is here to purify. Surya is here kind of to uh, take out things that are polluted. Okay. This can be including a relation with your native father or native mother. Okay? It's not expected that the Surya period is an easy start on life. It's expected to be a harsh start on life. And if it's like that, we can save to the person back to the past that that was cleansing that um, karmic pattern it was good that it happened okay and there's going to be several other components like if Surya is along with another Graha or if it's uh, burning Venus or it's burning Mercury that it's quite common okay but this is a second level consideration. The first level is don't expect to be smooth, expect to be harsh. Okay? Now, what happens when the person goes to the second karmic period? In the first, the social connections are not very well established. The social connections include our familiar connections, include our um, parental connections. These are all social connections, okay? We believe that the blood relation is a special kind of connection. Of course, it's a special kind of connection, but it's still a social connection, okay? And in the second period, that person will kind of crave to have um, more Om Gurave Nama 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 Om